So in this video, what I'm gonna be doing is giving you pretty much a Heights platform review, but not only that, it's gonna be more like an unboxing walkthrough. So I actually got this not too long ago and I really love what they have going on, especially when it comes to many of their cool and unique features. And I went around, I played with it myself, you know, I set up a course, the outline, and pretty much tested out all the lessons and the discussions. And I wanna do the same thing for you, so I'm pretty much gonna start from scratch. So aside from that, let's get right on into it. If you wanna actually test out the Heights platform yourself, I'll put a link down below. We can actually get a free trial. We can pretty much follow along with what I'm gonna be doing. So let's start with the course. And we're gonna give it a course title. Sure, just a test, okay? Description. For a lot of these things, I'm just gonna kind of fly through them. Obviously, we don't need to spend a ton of time putting a description when it's just going to be for testing out. Obviously, when it comes to settings, it can be sold separately. You can also do enable public preview page. That's a tongue twister, okay? Cover image, pretty self-explanatory. You can also search and splash if you're looking for specific images, but you can upload them, uh, import them, so to speak, depending on how you want to do it there. This is going to be the easiest. Usually, if you have something on your computer, you can just use my device. <clears throat> also, this is pretty cool. When it comes to difficulty, sometimes you want to segment your course based upon the experience that the students are going to be having so it could be no label which i'm going to do for mine but you can also do beginner intermediate or advanced okay uh, it's not going to be published yet so i'm just going to do create course all right so now that we are here this is where your cover image would go this is just a test and this is the description that i put description <laughs> okay so let's create our first lesson what i like about this as you can tell it's very quick to load which is nice uh, let's do Lesson one, okay, very generic. Uh, let's just say introduce the course, okay? So the cool thing about this is that it's very easy to use and there's multiple kind of uh, tabs and features that you can utilize when it comes to creating a lesson. So you might want to utilize text content. You might want to utilize the video. You might want to ask an assignment, okay, which will appear right there as you can see. You might want to add in a download file or maybe an audio file, okay? So the cool thing is you can actually combine a lot of these. So for example, if you wanted to say like, hello, <laughs> it's great to have you here. Thank you for taking this course, okay? And so on and so forth. And then maybe you wanna add a video into it as well. What I did is I just took a motivation video on YouTube. I'm gonna paste it in right here. You can also embed it if you want. All you would need to do is go here and add the uh, YouTube embed. Uh, form or code, whatever it's going to be. Okay, and then let's say we also want to add an assignment. So what did you learn from this? Okay, let's say it's going to be two points. I like how they add a point system to this. This allows your students to be able to kind of feel a sense of accomplishment when it comes to either following through with watching videos, doing materials, answering assignments like this one, or maybe actually taking action, which is going to be the most important part. So let's go to save lesson. Okay, now let's actually preview it. So I'm gonna go here, view this lesson, open in a new tab. And as you can see, the cool thing about this also, as you can see up top, it'll say lesson one. This is obviously just the name which we can edit. Uh, it's going to be your name, who it's by with your picture, which is cool. So they always know who the instructor is uh, in case maybe you're selling your course to cold traffic and maybe they don't know you as well. Okay, so it's good to at least have that up there. The objective, remember we talked about, this is just going to be introducing the course. And I like this, it has a reading time here. So less than a minute, it shows how many words there are. So you can give the person a general idea of how long it's gonna take to go through. And for this one, we have points to earn, which is going to be two. Okay, so remember we talked about this is going to be with the video. It's going to be the biggest thing up top, so it's easy for someone to click on it, watch it, and so on and so forth. Uh, this is just a random text that I put there, which you can put much more if you want. And then, of course, when it comes to the assignment, what did you learn from this where someone would go through? And then, of course, submit answer, okay? So with this, you would obviously need to submit the answer. As you can see here, answer question to complete, uh, that the lessons are pretty simple to set up. Okay, let's submit answer. Awesome, let's complete lesson. Okay, so I've reached the last lesson in the course. Okay, so let's actually go back to uh, the course itself. Let's go to courses. Let's go to this. And of course, we can do another lesson. So create lesson. Same thing once again. Let's just call this lesson two. Uh, whatever, okay, we're just flying through this stuff. 
And once again, if we want to do something different, let's just say we want to do text and content and we want to do a download. Okay, let's do download. So in this, make sure that you download your important files, okay? And just as an example, let's do HTTPS. This would be our download. I'm just, you know, using a website so you can see what it looks like. Then of course, let's actually publish this and then we're gonna hit save. And let's view this lesson. Okay, so the downloadable content will be up top. I'm not sure in the future or if you can even do it now, maybe I missed out on this, but it would be cool if you can actually choose where these go. For example, when you have your video, maybe you have an assignment, maybe you have downloadable content. It would be cool if you could actually choose that you want this to go on the bottom and maybe you want the text to go on top where you can kind of rearrange them. Like I said, I'm still been playing with it, so maybe that is a feature. If not, it would be cool just to have something you know, that would be there in the future. Once again, when it comes to the reading time, less than a minute, it tells you how many words are there, are, how many points that your students can earn, and so on and so forth. So that's pretty much the process when it's going to come to creating lessons. In my opinion, it is very easy to do. As you can see, you would just keep adding on to them. You can do another lesson. You can also drag and move them around so you can choose which one goes first, second, third, fourth, and so on and so forth, okay? So here is another great feature when it comes to the Heights platform that I actually love the most. This was probably one of the biggest things that I liked. Okay, so are the actual message boards, okay? So let's create a new message board. Okay, main discussions two. Okay, discuss what you learned, sure. And no group, and let's create a new message board. All right, I had to actually go back and change some things around because uh, before what I was doing when I had my discussions, I was looking to see how you can actually delete the post, and instead what I did is I blocked myself, okay? So uh, if you ever wanted to actually delete a post, you would go down here and do delete topic. So in case you wanted to know that, but this is a cool thing. The reason why I like this so much is because it keeps everything and everyone all within the course platform, okay? I've noticed a lot of times that people nowadays will create a group on Facebook as like in addition to where people can get coaching, get their questions answered. For me, that was always a big distraction. For me personally, I don't like utilizing Facebook. It's a very big time suck. It's very distracting and I know it can be the same for the students in it. So the cool thing about this is that when it comes to having your own discussion boards, it's all within the platform and plus you can always get someone to moderate it if you want. Uh, and really streamline the process. So everything is all within the course by itself. Uh, and that's a feature that I really love. This is something that comes along with it. And as you can see, it's pretty much where people will go in, they'll ask questions. You can ask, actually ask questions yourself to get some uh, topic discussion and maybe some comments and answers to get people more interested in what you have to offer. Because a lot of times people can purchase something and maybe they lose interest or they forget about it. But this is a great way to keep the topics and discussions going all within the platform by itself. Okay. So so that was that. And once again, you can edit this, you can add more, start a new topic, whatever it's going to be, but everything can be under one roof. Really big free feature that I really like, okay? So aside from that, let's go to Mentor Dashboard. Okay, and there's a lot of other cool features that come along with this. We are near the dashboard. Then of course you have the student list and badge list is something that is really awesome. Okay, this is kind of like Xbox 360. I don't know if you ever played Xbox. I wasn't a big fan personally, but the fact of the matter is that they have these things called achievements. And whenever you achieve something, it'll say like achievement unlocked and it'll give you like a badge very similar to this. So this is kind of like the process of gamification or gamify as they call it. Not only do they have plenty of badges that you can earn or have your students earn, you can actually create your own on the bottom here we can create your own custom badge i have yet to do that but the fact of the matter that they have these it's a great way to kind of for students to show off and show improvement when it comes to taking action because selling your course and getting it out there is one thing but actually having your students take action and see results is like the most important part and this is something that can really help out with it which is what i really like okay let's look at about one or two more things this is a cool thing when it comes to outlining your course so for example like we talked about you can obviously switch these around i talked about that before this is a spot you can do it but once again this is where you can pretty much outline everything that's going to be happening whether it's going to be free enrollment or there's going to be an upsell and so on and so forth your courses and then what everything that pretty much happens after that and of course when it comes to Paying for it, you can do PayPal and you can do Stripe. If you go to edit payment settings, you will see that right here, connect Stripe, connect PayPal, the program pricing, 
student checkout, terms and policies, and so on and so forth. You have all the important features when it comes to launching and selling your course. But aside from that, I do believe like one of the best parts about it is going to be just how simple it is to use, okay? This is kind of like an unboxing review. So I have gone through before, this is pretty much doing the same exact thing where it doesn't take a long time to figure out. Since the fact that it might be new software, it might take a few minutes, you know, or a few times going through just to remember, okay, this button was over here, this does that. Kind of like how I blocked myself before <laughs> instead of deleting the post. You know, little things like that, which you're gonna get better at over time, it shouldn't take too long to do. And because of that, I do really like what the Heights platform does have to offer. It's simple to use. They got a lot of great features going on for it. And uh, if you're looking to get your course up and running pretty quickly, this is definitely going to help do it. So I hope that uh, helped you out when it comes to this Heights platform review. Once again, I'll put a link down below where you can actually get started with a free trial. And uh, if you look a little bit deeper into the discussion, excuse me, not the discussion, to the description down below, I'll have a post in case you're more of a person who likes reading blog post to a review when it comes to this platform as well. But that's about it. I want to say thank you for watching and I hope that you enjoy the Heights platform as much as I'm going to.